All right, so it's about one after. We're going to go ahead and get started. Happy Wednesday, everybody, and welcome to yoga. So wonderful to have you here. We're going to start by getting centered. So please sit in a comfortable seat for just a few minutes as we start to turn off the outside world and tune into whatever's going on inside of us. So <laughs> sitting tall, feel your shoulders drop down the back, let your eyes close. Maybe taking a deep breath in and out if that helps to ground in. And feeling the connection your body makes to the floor. Feeling that support of the earth, the floor beneath you. And feel your spine growing up out of that support. Feeling your rib cage and your shoulders branch off of the spine, your arms hanging off of the shoulders. And feeling your head balancing on the top of your spine. And just take a moment to really feel supported. In that acknowledgement of support, also notice your breath flowing in and flowing out rather effortlessly. And I mean that the breath is autonomic. Yes, you can control it, but you don't have to. Even when you let go, it's there. Even if you don't always feel supported out in the world, know that in this moment, the earth is supporting you and your breath is supporting you. And so just a couple more breaths into that awareness. Beautiful, inhale, take a, <laughs> take a deeper breath in. And then bring the palms together, lower the chin. Honor yourself as you are in this moment, body, breath, energy, and mind. And it's from that place within you that we'll start moving. Go ahead and move the palms together. And take the heated palms over the eyes, brushing over the top of your head and down your neck, bringing yourself back to the space around you. And for today's practice, we're gonna begin on our backs. So move any props you have off to the side and please come to lay down, taking your time as you get there. And once you're on your back, go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. And it might feel good to rock gently from side to side here kind of see how you feel. Might also feel good just to hold the knees still, feeling the back body pressing into that support of the floor and the earth beneath that. All right. Now, if you're moving from side to side, go ahead and bring your hips to stillness. Holding on to your right knee with both hands, please extend your left leg all the way down to the floor and flex both feet. You'll feel just a gentle stretch in your hips here, the hip flexor. Good, and we're just gonna loosen up these legs a little bit. So go ahead and hold behind your right thigh with both hands. Again, both feet are flexed here. With your inhale, straighten your right leg toward the ceiling, pull the toes back and reach through the heel. Exhale, bend the knee and bring it back into your chest. And we're just gonna do that a few more times. Inhale, extend the right leg toward the ceiling, pull the toes back, and exhale, bend the knee. Keep going. Just reaching that leg up, inhale, bring it back in. Feeling the back of the leg lengthen. Good. And then go ahead and extend the leg toward the ceiling. Leave the leg extended, pull the toes back, and just bring the leg closer to your body just slightly. You know, we don't want to strain the back here or the back of the leg, but just hold it at the point where you feel the stretch. 
three, two, and one. Bend the right knee, and then go ahead and extend that right leg down to the floor, and we will switch sides. So go ahead and bring your left knee in, holding onto the shin or just below the knee. Flex both feet here, and again, just feel that stretch in the hip. And let's take care of the back of the left leg. So holding on to the left thigh. With your inhale, extend the left leg toward the ceiling. Pull the toes back. Exhale, bend the knee and bring it back into your chest. Inhale, extend, reach. Exhale, bend. Keep going. Feeling the left ham hamstring, the back of the leg, stretching here. Opening up. <laughs> This muscle gets really, really tight sometimes. It's helping with that here. Good, let's do two more. And then extend the leg and stay. Again, pull it towards you to the point where you feel the stretch. And breathe. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and bend your left knee. Extend the left leg down to the floor. We're going to go back to the first side and do just a bit more work, all right? So hugging the right knee in. Good. So holding behind the thigh, please extend the right leg toward the ceiling and pull the toes back. We've been here before. We know this one. Flex both feet. Now, there's a lot of lefts and rights here, so pay attention. You're taking your left hand to the outside of your right knee or right thigh. Your right hand can stay there or it can come down to the floor, but you're gonna keep the right foot flexed. Keep the right hip on the ground, do not pick it up, but just draw the right leg a little bit to the left. So the hip does not pop up, we're not in a twist here. But what you wanna feel is the side of the right leg stretching from the hip all the way to the ankle. This is your IT band, it also gets tight. <laughs> <laughs> so keep the right hip on the floor, drawing the left foot across, keep the leg straight, keep reaching through the heel for three, two, and one, bring it back, bend the knee, and relax the leg down. Good. Maybe notice the difference between the two sides after doing that. Whether you like it or not, it probably feels important to do the other side. So when you're ready, bring the left knee back in, and extend the left leg toward the ceiling, holding behind the thigh to start. Flex both feet, and then take your right hand to the outside of your left thigh or knee. Keep the left hip grounding. Left hand can be wherever it wants to be at this point. Flex the left foot, and then draw the left leg across the body. Keep the left hip on the ground. Do not pick it up. Feel the outside of the left leg stretch here. It gets tight sometimes. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Bend the knee and extend the leg down. Now, there is a little bit more we're going to do for the legs here because why not? We're here, right? Go ahead and bring your right knee back in. All right. Flexing both feet. So this time, you're going to hold on to your right knee with your right hand. The left hand is going to sit right on top of your left hip bone. So just kind of show you what's going on. The hand is going to be right on the hip bone here. Not pressing down, but just kind of reminding that left hip to stay on the floor. And then flex both feet and draw the right knee out to the right. Right knee comes out to the right. Left hip stays on the ground. Now holding behind or to the side of the right knee with the right hand, inhale, extend the right leg out to the side. Ooh, yeah. And then keep the knee out to the side, but bend the leg back in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Try to keep the left hip grounded. Again, extend. And bend. Extend and bend. Good. Extending the leg one last time. Pull the toes back. Reach to the heel. Ground your left hip and stay. And breathe. And breathe. <laughs> 
You just create an app that's just me every five seconds telling you to breathe. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and bend the right knee. Bring it back to center. Before we do the other side, let's do a twist. Holding on to the right knee with the left hand. Draw the right knee across the body toward the floor on the left side. Your right arm hangs out behind you. The arm and the shoulder trying to ground toward the floor. Your chin can turn to the right as well. And just taking a few breaths here in this twist. Good. Inhale, unwind. And let's do all of that again on the other side. So bending your left knee in. Again, flex both feet. Place your right hand on your right hip bone. Again, not really pushing down, but just reminding that hip to stay on the floor. And then draw the left knee out to the left. Again, you can hold on to the side of the knee here. Keep both feet flexed. Inhale, extend the left leg out. Exhale, bend the knee, but keep the leg out to the side. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Keep the right hip grounded, inhale. Exhale, a couple more times. Stretch, reach through that heel. Exhale, we're gonna hold it. Inhale, extend the left leg out to the side, reach through the heel, pull the toes back, ground the right hip and breathe. <laughs> There's some activation of the core here, I'm sure you're noticing. <laughs> Three. Two, and one, bend the knee, bring it back to center. Go ahead and hold on to it with the right hand. Draw the left knee across to the outside of the right, so the outside of the body on the right side. Left arm hangs out behind you. Try to ground the arm and shoulder and turn your chin to the left. I'm just taking a few breaths into this twist. Good. With your inhale, go ahead and unwind and extend the left leg down. Now just feel the body in symmetry for a moment. We've been kind of working both sides to see how everything feels now. Good. And then go ahead and bring your feet flat to the floor, heels underneath the knees. And the feet are about hip width apart, prepping for bridge pose. We'll do some arm movement first. We'll add the hips in just a moment. With your next inhale, arms starting down by your side. With your next inhale, reach the arms toward the ceiling, and then all the way overhead, knuckles on the floor above you. And then exhale, reach back toward the ceiling and bring the arms back down. Good, let's do that again, just the arms, lifting up and over, inhale. Then exhale, reaching toward the ceiling and coming back down. Let's add the hips this time. Move the arms as you did, but also pick up the hips, inhale, reach the pelvis toward the ceiling, Exhale, releasing the arms and hips back down at the same time. Keep moving. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keeping it moving, warming up the spine here, stretching the front of the body. And as you move in and out of this pose, make sure your feet stay flat on the floor. Sometimes people like to pick up the heels or the balls of the feet. Don't do that. Keep everything grounding here. Nice, stable posture. Good. Let's come into the pose this time and stay. Lift the hips, arms over head, knuckles on the floor, and breathe. Grounding the feet, pelvis presses up. There's even a slight back bend in your upper back as your breastbone comes closer to your chin. And with that, relax your throat and your jaw. Three, two, 
and one. Exhale, release the arms and the hips coming back down to the floor. Feel sensation for a moment. We're gonna do just a little bit more work with the floor here as we are. So um, the good news is we're nice and warmed up for it. So you can keep your arms down. Actually, I encourage you to keep your arms down for this next one, but extend your right leg toward the ceiling. The left foot stays flat on the floor with the knee bent. Pull the toes back on the right leg. Now mine is about you know 90 degrees off the floor. It's okay if yours is a bit forward, just work within the range that you can. But with your inhale, pick up the hips and reach that heel as high as it'll go. And then exhale very carefully, bring the hips back down. And try to make that a smooth movement as much as you can. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Let's do two more. Up and down. Good. We're going to come up and we're going to hold this time, lifting up. Now, keeping the hips lifted, point the toes and reach your leg forward. At about 45 degrees or so, and then press your hips up a little bit more. Three, two, and then inhale, lift the leg, exhale, release the hips, and bring the right foot flat to the floor and take a moment to adjust. Hmm. Good. Now, again, if you didn't like that one, we should probably still do the other side. So let's just see what happens, see what happens. So right foot flat on the floor, prepping for bridge. Go ahead and extend your left leg toward the ceiling and pull the toes back. Arms by your sides and about five times. Inhale, lift and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Keep going. Last one, lift up. You guessed it, stay. Point the toes and extend the leg forward. Press your hips up a little bit more. Three, two, inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, lower the hips and bring the foot to the floor. Beautiful, good job. Mm, feeling sensation. All right, when you're ready, please go ahead and roll to your right side. And let's come up to hands and knees, table pose. Good. Bring your hands under your shoulders, knees beneath the hips, or slightly further back. Inhale, look forward, feel the tailbone lift. And then exhale, sink back into child's pose. See to the heels, forehead to the floor, and stay here for a moment, feeling that stretch in your lower back. Good, inhale back up to hands and knees. Please curl the toes under. Let's come into downward facing dog. And now it's the first down dog of the night. So let's go ahead and walk it out a bit. We have stretched the hamstrings a little bit. So you might notice your legs are a bit more open than they normally are when you come into this pose. But also feel length in your spine. So the hips are reaching toward the ceiling. Flattening out the back. Good. All right, bring the legs to stillness. Go ahead and gently walk your hands back to meet your feet coming into the standing forward fold. Now release your head here. Knees are just gently bending. It's just a slight give to them. And feeling your upper body drape down over the legs. Uh, bending knees just a bit more. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up to standing. That is the last to lift. And feel sensation. All righty. We're going to move into some arm swings next. 
excuse me, my hydrate mid sentence. <laughs> We're gonna move to some arm swings next. This is a three part inhale through your nose, one powerful exhale out of your mouth with the movement. The movement today is gonna be jabbing the elbows back. So watch me. With the inhale, you'll reach up. With your second part of your inhale, reach back. Then inhale up and then exhale, jab the elbows back. So it's inhale, 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 exhale, inhale, 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 exhale. We're gonna go for about two minutes. Now, again, it's a three part inhale through the nose. And then one powerful exhale out of the mouth. And the navel pulls back, okay? It's kind of a powerful engagement here. Go at your own pace. If you need to slow down, slow down. Try to keep going if you start to feel like you need to stop, but if you need to stop, do what you need to do to take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> All right, feet about hip width apart, nice stable stance when you're ready. Inhale up, inhale back, inhale up and exhale jab. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. <laughs> Winging it out with that three part inhale through the nose, feel the full movement of your shoulder joints up, back, up, and jab. Well, the jab is the exhale. <laughs> with that exhale, you want to feel the navel pull back toward the spine and really evacuate the lungs. Clear out the lungs, your throat, just cleansing the respiratory system, getting rid of all those allergens that are in the air now because it's spring. Love spring, but there's a lot of pollen sometimes. <laughs> so this helps to clear all of that out. About one more minute, about halfway here. Again, you can slow the movement down if you'd like to, but try to keep moving because if we can make it past that 90 second mark especially we really start to tone the nervous system we start to pull you out of that fight or flight response and ground you into the parasympathetic response which is your calming response <laughs> we have to keep moving 30 more seconds everybody Almost there. Three, two, and one release. Ooh, feel sensation. Your breath rate, your heart rate, tingling in the arms and hands, cooling in the nostrils, energy in the chest. That breathing rhythm is sometimes called the breath of joy. You might feel lighter even emotionally after doing that. Little mind hack for you there. <laughs> hmm. And then building on this work, go ahead and take your feet just a little bit wider apart, about your shoulder width apart, toes pointing outward gently. And we're gonna start to swing from side to side, side to side. Now the arms are gently hitting the body here. Just think of it as a percussion massage to the internal organs. And you're looking behind you. Now you start to feel dizzy here, either slow down or you can also stop moving the head. You can keep looking forward if you need to. But if you can, look behind you and twist and find your rhythm because we're doing this for a full two minutes as well. Finding a rhythm or pace you can maintain for that time. And unlike our first exercise, the one just prior to this, I should say, is there's no prescribed breathing. So you just have to kind of check in on yourself sometimes and notice if you're holding. And then deepen your breath if you find that you are. So do you need a deeper breath? Give yourself one. Side to side to side. About one more minute here. And you might even just find yourself in a flow state here. Just the effort starts to dissolve. 
the body just naturally moves from side to side, almost as if you're observing it happening versus doing it. If that's not your experience, just keep practicing. <laughs> About 20 more seconds. Check in with your breath, deepen it if you need to. Three, two, and one. Unwind to center, close the eyes and feel. Noticing sensation in your body, especially around the abdomen, the sides of the body where the arms were drumming. Might be some residual sensation there. You might also feel calmer in your nervous system, a little less activated. And then go ahead and bring your awareness on back. Good job. So for our next exercise, I'll ask you to interlace your fingers behind your back. Good. And then squeeze the shoulder blades together and lift the arms off the back. Now, how far you go here really just depends on what's going on in your body today, and that's okay. But there's this intention of the arms lifting, even if they don't even come off the back. So once you have that connection, squeeze the shoulder blades together, arms off the back, just gently bend your knees, and then hinge at the hips and fold forward Maybe taking the arms overhead, but again, there's still that intention of lifting the arms off the back here. And at the end of the day, this just does not feel good for you. Just let the arms hang to the floor. You'll still get a good stretch. Good. Now we will all let our arms hang to the floor, please. Press palms to shins, bring your chest parallel to the floor, come halfway up, and exhale, fold down. Let's do that again. Inhale, halfway up, looking at the ground. Exhale, fold. One more time, halfway up, and exhale, fold. And then sweep the arms out to the sides, and inhale, come all the way back up. And arms come down. Good. Just notice sensation. Sorry about my voice changing every time I fold forward. <laughs> it's just my allergies. <laughs> it just sends like the mucus to my, my nostrils. So it sounds a little squeaky when I fold forward. Anyway, let's play around with the warrior two tonight. So I'll ask you to step forward to the top of your mat, please and step your right foot way back. Nice wide stance, probably wider than you think it should be. And the alignment here is that your front heel runs straight back into the middle of your back arch, okay? And you wanna keep the, the right foot, in this case, the one that's behind you, grounding to the floor here, especially the pinky edge. Good, now bring your hands onto your hips for this one. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, bend your left knee toward the middle toe. And you're sinking down really deep here. Eventually, maybe not for you tonight, but eventually the front thigh is parallel to the floor. Now you might feel your back foot picking up here, ground through the pinky edge, keep sinking forward. You don't want your knee to go beyond the ankle here. So if you're noticing that, just widen your stance. Good. Now inhale, straighten the left knee. And let's do that again. Bend in again. Ground through the back pinky edge. Inhale back up. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, back up. Just milking this one a little bit. Keep bending and lifting. Almost there. Last one. Sinking in. And then straighten the leg. 
and then let's do the other side. So what you can actually do here to do the other side is to turn your left foot to point to the side of your mat, and then turn your right foot to point to the other side. Just make sure your right foot's forward. Even you have to go come up and switch around a little bit. But check in with your alignment again. You might have to move the feet around a bit. But the front heel is running back into the mid arch of the back foot. Hands on the hips. Ground through that back pinky edge. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bend the right knee toward the middle toe. Now, again, you don't want the knee to go beyond the ankle. So widen your stance if you need to. Then inhale, come back up. And let's do that again. Exhale, sinking in. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sinking in. And up. Keep grounding through the pinky edge of that back foot. I know it's tempting to let it pick up. Don't let it. Inhale up. Let's do two more, all right? Two more for now. <laughs> we will be coming back to this. Don't worry. <laughs> sinking in. And then inhale. Go ahead and straighten the leg. Go ahead and turn your right foot to point forward or to the side of your mat. It's forward for me. <laughs> and we're going to come into a forward fold here. It might mean you need to just bring the feet closer together, but just see what happens here. Hinge at the hips and fold down over a wide leg stance. Good. Don't lock the knees. Just a little bit bend to them. And just let the upper body drape down. Breathing here for a moment. Beautiful. And then go ahead and stand back up. Take your time. All right. We're going to play around with warrior two on the first side. So you might just be able to turn your left foot out to the side and you're in the pose. You're in the stance. But do make sure that the left uh, heel is running back into the middle of the right arch. Good. Let's just find the pose again before we do anything crazy with it, all right? <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the left knee toward the middle toe. And again, if the knee goes beyond the ankle, you're too far. Better to widen your stance a bit. Good. Then inhale, come back up. All right, taking this a step further, go ahead and sink down into the pose and stay. Then bring your left elbow down onto your left thigh. The right hand can be on the right hip here. And then roll the right shoulder back and look over that shoulder. Good. Keep bending the front knee. Keep breathing. <laughs> Good. Then roll the right shoulder down, straighten the left leg, and come up. Good. We're going to come back to that on the on the other side. So go ahead and turn the left foot out. Turn the right foot to its side of the mat or just whatever stands here and make sure the right foot's forward. Check your arches, <laughs> hands on the hips. Go ahead and bend into the right knee. Again, widen or narrow the stance, however you need to. Good. We came in and came out on the first side, so let's do that. Come out, and then we'll come in to, to hold. So nice bend to the right knee. Bring the right elbow down onto the right thigh. With that left hand on the left hip, roll the left shoulder back looking up over that shoulder. And even though there's some weight of the body on the right elbow, don't throw all of it on there, okay? There's a little bit of engagement of the core. There's a little bit of lifting here. Keep the right knee bending. Good. And then roll the left shoulder down. Straighten the right knee and stand up. Beautiful. Let's go back to that first. I don't want to take this a step further. Turn the right toes toward the side of your mat. Turn the left foot out to the front of your mat or that way, <laughs> whatever way that is for you. Hands on the hips to start. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the left knee nice and deep. Really go for it here. And then bring the left elbow down onto the thigh. Roll the right shoulder back. Good. Now keep the right shoulder working backwards as you reach the right arm up and over, and you're making the straight line through the leg, through the side of the body, through the arm, and through the fingertips. Keep the right shoulder working back here. And breathe. Side angle pose. Reaching through the fingertips. Breathe.
Go ahead and then go ahead and release the right arm behind you and let that kind of pull you up to standing. Feel sensation. Hmm. But what's it feel like on the other side, you ask? Let's find out. Turn the left foot to the side, turn the right foot out, or find a stance where the right foot's forward here. <laughs> you might have stepped the foot forward and step the foot back. Just do what you can. Hands on the hips. Go ahead and bend into the right knee, sinking in. Bring the right elbow down onto the right thigh. Make sure you're grounding through the pinky edge of the left foot. Roll the left shoulder back, look up. Good. Now keeping the front knee bending, sweep the left arm up and over, making that straight line from the foot all the way up through the body, through the arm, through the fingertips. And breathe, reach. Almost there. Good, sweep the left arm back. Let that pull you on up to standing. Feel sensation. All right, can I get away with one more of these? <laughs> I'm gonna assume yes, but just letting you know you don't have to do it if you don't want to. So turn the right foot out, turn the left foot to its side of the mat, hands on the hips. Actually, I'm gonna switch that up a little. Arms out to the sides. Now we're gonna be reaching forward here in just a moment. It's tempting to lock the left knee. You wanna keep it straight, but don't pull the knee back, okay? That's not gonna do anything for you here. So arms out to the side, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, extend your left hand forward like you're trying to reach somebody's hand in front of you. And then inhale, come back up. You'll feel a stretch in the left thigh here. Exhale, reach forward again. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale, back up. Reach. And up. All right, this time we're going to take it a step further. Reach forward. Place the left hand down onto the left shin or ankle. Drop the right arm down first. Sweep the right arm forward. Reach out to the side. And then up and overhead, rolling the right shoulder back. And look up, if you can, toward the hand in the air. Triangle pose. And if it's too much to look up, just look forward. Just keep the head in line with the spine, so don't drop the head down. You want to keep it engaged. Keep rolling the right shoulder back. Keep breathing. Now imagine your right hand in the air. Imagine that you're grabbing out of somebody's hand and they pull you up to standing, all right? So pull yourself up standing. <laughs> Good, let's try that on the other side. Turn the left foot out, turn the right foot toward its side of the mat. Good. So arms out to the sides again. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit, lest I hit that wall. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach the right arm forward. Again, like you're trying to grab somebody's hand. Then inhale, come back up. And then exhale, reach. Inhale, back up. Exhale, reach. And up, a couple more times, reach. And up. This time we'll take it to triangle. Reach as far forward as you can. Right hand comes down onto the shin or the ankle. Drop the left arm down first. And then reach the left arm forward, and then backstroke the arm into the air, looking up at the hand, if you can. If it's too much, look forward. Keep the head in line with the spine, and keep rolling this left shoulder back, okay? Breathing here. Breathing here. Now again, that arm that's in the air, the left hand, imagine you're grabbing onto somebody's hand and imagine they're pulling you on up to standing. 
kind of feels like a rock star pose, right? <laughs> you can release the left arm down. Go ahead and turn the right foot forward in a wide stance again. And then the feet are pointing directly forward, not out to the side. We're going to fold forward again. So just go ahead and drape the body down. Feeling a stretch in the back of the body here. Now, if you liked what we did earlier where we interlace the fingers at the lower back and lift the arms off the back, go ahead and do that here. If you didn't like it, don't do it and just keep hanging forward. Maybe you grab opposite elbows and just ragdoll hang forward. All right, if your arms aren't already doing so, go ahead and release them to the floor or toward the floor. And then inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides, nice strong back as you lift yourself all the way up to standing. And then staying and standing, release the arms and cut the heels inward so the toes point out to the sides. We're gonna do one more wide stance and then I promise we'll let the legs come back together. So the hands on the hips. Actually, I'll switch it up already. Take the arms out to the sides. Bend your elbows so fingertips point toward the ceiling. Good. Set the shoulders down the back. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend both knees out toward the toes, sinking down into goddess pose. Good. Inhale, straighten the legs. This time we're going to come in to stay for about five deep breaths. So sinking down. Feel the heart lift. And breathe. Five breaths seems like a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> well, let's do one more. Good. Inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, reach up. And then release the arms down. And then carefully step the feet together. With the legs closer together, let's go ahead and drape forward, down over the legs again, standing forward fold. Knees are bending just slightly. And then from here, make your way into downward facing dog. Stepping the feet back probably. I'm feeling that stretch in the spine here, shooting the hips toward the ceiling behind you. And then inhale, floating down onto hands and knees gently, release the feet and sink back into child's pose. Seat to the heels, forehead toward the floor. And breathing here for a bit. Again, just feeling sensation. What's happening in the body. From here, please slither forward down onto your abdomen. And once you're on the belly, have your hands under your shoulders, elbows bending and squeezing into your sides. We're gonna use locust pose a little bit to help counterpose some of the work we've been doing. So feel the pelvis grounding into the floor. With your inhale, lift the head, chest, and the legs off the ground. Good, elbows stay bent. Exhale, float back down. Inhale, lifting up again. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, lift. And exhale, release down. We're going to switch things up a little bit. Go ahead and sweep your hands to your lower back. Maybe one hand's holding on to the other. And work the shoulder blades together so the shoulders aren't dropping down, but they're staying engaged. Good. We're going to do locusts from here, all right? So keep the hands on the lower back, ground the pelvis, lift the head, chest, and legs here. A little harder now. It's okay. Exhale, float down. Inhale, float up. Exhale, float down. Let's do two more. Floating up, inhale, locusts, head, chest, legs. 
Exhale down. Last one. And yes, we'll be holding it. Ground the pelvis. Lift the head, chest, and legs and stay. And breathe. And relax your jaw. And lift the legs and the chest. And the head. And breathe. So much to do here. Lift up a little bit higher. Three. Two. Lifting up to your highest point. Inhale. Don't collapse. Exhale, slowly lower down. Turn the chin to a side. You can release the hands. And turning your head to the other side. Good. Let's go ahead and bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Curl the toes under. We're going to make our way to downward facing dog. I know it's far away, but when you're ready, go ahead and push up and back. Maybe stepping the feet forward a few inches and feel that length in your spine again. Good. Inhale, float down onto hands and knees again and find your way to child's pose. Taking a deeper breath. When you're ready, go ahead and walk your hands back, coming up to a seat, and bring your legs out in front of you. Go ahead. Let's do a little bit of a twist here. I think we did this one last week, but that's okay. We can repeat things sometimes. Go ahead and bend your right knee into your chest. Now, keep the foot here. Or you might be able to bring it to the other side of the leg. Now, if you bring it to the other side of the leg and it doesn't want to ground down, you can't bring the foot flat to the floor. Just bring it back to the inside. Either way, you'll get a good twist here. So whichever one you'd like to do. Now, pulling on the leg, sit up nice and tall. Bring your right hand behind your spine. Good. With your inhale, lift the left arm up. With the exhale, sweep the left arm across the body. Hook the knee. Twist. Roll the right shoulder back and look behind you. Good. Now you might, when you're here, scoot your hand back toward your spine a little bit so you sit up a bit taller. And then roll the right shoulder back again. Breathe. Twist. Good. Inhale, carefully unwind. And release the right leg down. Let's do the other side now. Bending the left knee, bring it in. Again, the foot can stay on the inside. Some of you might be able to bring it to the outside, whichever one you can do. <laughs> Good, I'm going to keep it on the inside for this one. And then bring your left hand behind your spine. Then inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, sweep the right arm across. Hook the knee and twist, rolling the left shoulder back, looking behind you. Now sit up a little bit taller. That might mean sliding the hand back toward your spine a bit more and twist a little bit deeper with that exhale. Good. 
Good. With your inhale, carefully unwind. Extend your left, uh, left leg back down and take your feet just a little bit wider apart. Now you might need to reach back and just widen the flesh of your seat here. This just helps you sit up a little bit taller. You can also sit on a folded blanket if you have one nearby. But with the hands on the knees, go ahead and sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, fold forward toward the legs a bit, but keep the back flat. It's tempting here to fold down like this. This doesn't do anything. Instead, pull the shoulders back and let the heart lead. Isn't that nice? Let the heart lead. Let the heart lead you forward. <laughs> if it's helpful, you might be able to hold on to the back of the legs here to get some leverage. Don't worry about holding on to the feet, by the way. That's just going to strain your shoulders. It's all about stretching the lower back and the backs of the legs. The shoulders are not, not important right now. Go ahead, with your inhale, sit up, please. Hmm. All right, one more thing to do and then we'll rest. I'm gonna slide about halfway up my mat, so about this far, so that when I lay back, I'll be in the position to lay on my back, all right? So make that adjustment. Bend your knees and bring your feet flat to the floor. Sit up nice and tall and holding on to the shins or just below the knees, keeping the back flat, just lean back a little bit here. Feet picking up off the floor, core is engaged. And then put the feet back down, maybe get a better grip. Nice and tall, lean back just a little bit here. Good, and then extend your legs forward. You lean back even more. You can hold onto the legs if you'd like to. And then just for fun, see how low <laughs> you can go. Until you eventually lay down. So once you've gotten to the furthest point, just it's okay just to relax on down. And once you're there, make any final adjustments to rest comfortably here on your back for a few minutes. Have your heels about mat width apart, arms resting down by your sides, palms face up. And feel your body's connection to the floor. And know that at least for the next few minutes, you are completely supported. You don't have to hold yourself up. You don't even have to think about anything. Just surrender to the support of the floor. And you might notice as well that when you let go, that the breath keeps going. You can trust that the breath will keep going. You don't have to control it. You don't have to force it or change it. The breath catches you. The support of the earth catches you.
peace. 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 Please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. Making some gentle movements in your hands and feet, your arms and legs. Welcoming your body and awareness back. As you're ready, gently rolling to your right side. Coming on up to a seat when you feel complete here. And so once you've made it to a seat, go ahead and bring your palms together, bowing the chin. And honor yourself for the work you've done here tonight, feeling gratitude for the effort you put forth. And may that effort and this practice, as always, continue to serve you. So until next time, namaste.